Our Environment Our Environment An Introduction Environment refers to all of the external factors affecting an organism. These factors may be other living organisms, the biotic factors or non-living variables, or the abiotic factors such as temperature, rainfall, day length, wind, and ocean currents. Wastes in our environment In our daily activities, we generate a lot of materials that are thrown away. These accumulated wastes can be classified as biodegradable and non-biodegradable. Substances that are broken down by biological processes are said to be biodegradable. Substances that are not broken down by biological processes are said to be non-biodegradable. Ecosystem An ecosystem is a complete community of living organisms and the non-living materials of their surroundings. An ecosystem consists of biotic components comprising living organisms and abiotic components comprising physical factors like temperature, rainfall, wind, soil and minerals. Organisms can be grouped as producers, consumers, and decomposers according to the manner in which they obtain their sustenance from the environment. During photosynthesis, producers use the energy from sunlight to make complex modules from carbon dioxide and water. Consumers obtain energy when they eat producers or consumers that eat producers. Waste and dead organic material supply decomposers with energy. During every energy transaction, some energy is lost to biological systems as it is dispersed as heat. Food Chains and Webs Food chain shows how each living thing gets its food. Some animals eat plants and some animals eat other animals. Each step or level of the food chain forms a tropic level. The autotrophs or the producers are the first trophic level. They fix up the solar energy and make it available for heterotrophs or the consumers. The herbivores or the primary consumers come at the second trophic level, small carnivores or the secondary consumers at the third and larger carnivores or the tertiary consumers form the fourth trophic level. Energy flow through the ecosystem. The diagram that is shown here illustrates how both energy and inorganic nutrients flow through the ecosystem. Note that all energy comes from the sun and that the ultimate fate of all energy in ecosystems is to be lost as heat. Energy does not recycle. How do our activities affect the environment? We are an integral part of the environment. Changes in the environment affect us and our activities change the environment around us. Major environmental problems of today are depletion of ozone and waste disposal. The use of CFCs has endangered the ozone layer. The disposal of waste we generate is causing serious environment problems. Ozone layer and how it is getting depleted. Ozone is a deadly poison. At the higher levels of atmosphere, ozone performs an essential function. It shields the surface of the earth from ultraviolet radiation from the sun. This radiation is highly damaging to organisms. It is known to cause skin cancer. The amount of ozone in the atmosphere has begun to drop. This decrease has been linked to synthetic chemicals like chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, which are used as refrigerants and in fire extinguishers. Managing the garbage we produce the disposal of the waste we generate is causing serious environmental problems. 
there are a number of concepts about waste management which vary in their usage between countries or regions. The waste hierarchy refers to the three R's, reduce, reuse and recycle, which classify waste management strategies according to their desirability in terms of waste minimization.